What's up everybody? Deck so crazy back in the building. Just going viral once again. I want to thank everybody for staying true to your word and just subscribing to your boy. Make sure I'm good. I started my Wendy's job on uh, Tuesday. It's Sunday right now. I'm just enjoying my day. It was my uncle's birthday yesterday. I gave him a call, but he didn't pick up. It's all good, though. I just want to tell him how good I'm doing and just keep it real. Um, It's been a blessing, man. It's been a journey, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all boys how to get these apps for free. Show y'all boys my daily, daily life. You know, just keeping it player, keeping it P, man. Shout out, Gunner. Free Thug. You know, we fuck with everybody in YSL. You know what I'm saying? YSL, never tell. You know, that's the guys. That's the guys. You know, this shit been real smooth, man. Pretty comfortable. This halfway house I'm in. Oh, Lord, I didn't gain 60 pounds eating 12 Pop-Tarts a day, so mind my fat on my face, man. It's all good. I'm going to sit at this weight for a little bit. Just try to stay a little bit healthier. I'm going to get me a tripod. I'm going to get me all that stuff I need to start recording some real good content. I try to get my film editing skills up. I'm um, going back to school so I could be a video editor. That's what's going to save me, bro. Um, I'm going to save all my money at Wendy's to try to get me a car so I can really start going to these thrift stores and showing y'all boys how to get fresh. Um, I'm in Deltona. It's right across. It's, it's right in the middle of Orlando and Daytona. So hopefully one day I can go to Disney World. Did I drop that in my bag? Yes, I did. I definitely dropped that in my bag. Damn. Gots to be more careful. Gots to be more careful. Ooh, that sudden hit me. I had burnt myself with a cigarette yesterday. Gotta be careful out here, bruh. Shit get crazy. Hey, man. Shout out to everybody that subscribed for real. Y'all boys really helping nigga out. Like, y'all helping me get famous, man. Like, just the other day, I just got out of here, bro. I only had 90-something subscribers. I only had 70-something, 80-something subscribers. And now I got 362 subscribers. Like, where you see somebody grow that fast like that? You don't never see a young YouTube channel growing that fast. I had another YouTube channel. And it had got... It's still up. It's called Mexo Dexter 2001. Um, Y'all boys go check that channel out. But I don't got access to it no more, so you ain't got to subscribe to it or nothing. Um, every time I start a YouTube channel, I be homeless. <coughs> and I lose access. I lose access to my account, so for me to still have this account is a blessing. I always lose my account. And try to hold the camera up. Don't smoke cigarettes. That's bad. Cigarettes is bad for your health, my boys and girls. Y'all boys stay clean, man. Don't do no drugs, man. Drugs is bad. Weed is bad. Weed is not bad, but stay away from it. It is a gateway drug. Of course, I started on that cough syrup. I started on that cough syrup, so I can't really say it was my gateway drug because I already did LSD. And LSD, man, that shit started making me hear voices. That shit opened up my schizophrenia. I was already schizoaffective, but I didn't know that at the time. And that shit, that shit messed me up. So, schizoaffective disorder a schizophrenia with a mood disorder. So you're going to have delusions, hallucinations, and you're going to have mania and depression. Delusions is thinking things out of this world and hallucinations is seeing and hearing things out of this world. 
I got to try to stay in the sun. But I'm walking back now. I just pace back and forth. Just recording my YouTube videos. I'm sorry if that sun is really fucking y'all boys up. You know, I just try to go viral every day. I wish I had a tripod. It'll make recording so much easier, bro. Like, I don't know what to say, man. This YouTube journey really is fun, dog. Just slowly seeing your numbers go up. It's like, it's like, ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, y'all see them birds? Look at them birds. I hope y'all seen the birds. Yeah, bro. Before I upload any video, I watch it first. And somebody asks, do I be stealing videos? No, I don't steal videos. I repost videos for my clout. I got to get my clout tokens. What is you talking about? Stealing. This is YouTube. Meaning you're going to see a thousand copies of one video, nigga. I, if I see that it's going viral, nigga, I'm finna borrow it right quick. Not like you can't find an original creator. You know what I'm saying? They got more views than me, nigga. I only got 2,000 views off of that video. Um, the other brother who I got it from, that nigga has 16,000 views. I'm like, bro, he won't mind if I get a little 2,000 off of this 16. He probably getting way more views than what he was originally getting. I just repurpose videos. I get my videos from Reddit. I get my videos from YouTube. And I go crazy, boy. Deck so crazy, nigga. What is you talking about? We don't play no games out here. If I see the old video, I like it, I want it, and I'm taking it, nigga. That's just what it is, and I don't care who don't like it. If you don't like it, nigga, Shablowski, you out of here, boy. I don't want none of that on my page, nigga. Nothing but positivity. That's all y'all niggas gonna give me. Positivity, nigga. Real life is negative as it is. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going viral every fucking day, nigga. I go viral every single day. I'm a real YouTuber out here. I go viral, nigga, I got 50,000 views. I showed my mama, and my mama was like, oh, congratulations, baby. You damn right it's congratulations, because I told you I don't play no games, nigga. I know how to work this shit. I know how to work this shit. I go crazy every day. I go crazy every day. I get my views up, I get my numbers up, and I get my subscribers up. What is you talking about? Mr. Good Locks, you see my hair? That shit glorious, man. What you talking about? And when I finally start making money off this YouTube shit, y'all niggas gonna be like, oh damn, I remember when he was homeless. You damn right you remember when I was homeless. Nigga, I was sleeping on that sidewalk. I was sleeping on that sidewalk. I was eating that fucking chips. I was eating nothing but chips and drinking Powerade. So, y'all niggas, y'all niggas subscribe, man. It's been a long journey. I'm finally in a halfway house. Got that real freedom, nigga. I can really start going crazy now. I've been going crazy every single day. Like I said I was. I kept my word. That's one thing about it. That's the one thing about it. I kept my word the entire time. I said, I'm going to go viral every fucking day. And that's exactly what I've been doing. Going viral every motherfucking day, boy. I don't play no games. Y'all think this YouTube shit is hard? Nah, nigga. YouTube is easy. Everything else is hard. Getting yourself something to eat when you hungry. That shit is hard. Going to work every day. That shit is hard. Making sure you got money for your rent. That shit is hard. Man, getting up going to these meetings. That shit is hard. But this YouTube shit... That's easy. All you gotta do is just keep doing it, nigga. And watch YouTube's on, watch videos on TikTok on how to get better. That's exactly what I did. I went on TikTok and I looked up at a search engine optimization and I was like, oh, this ain't nothing. It's nothing to create a title. It really ain't nothing. It's easy. It's simple. 
it's really nothing but putting your title and keywords and hashtags nowadays i don't use too many hashtags i was told to keep the title under 40 characters so that's what i do and my videos go viral every now and then i watch an educational video on youtube and i go viral about it 50,000 views i must know what i'm talking about 50,000 views i must know what i'm talking about because you niggas ain't got it I'm doing better than other YouTube channels that's been on it for a couple of months, nigga. I just started this a couple weeks ago. About a month ago, bruh. About a month and some change ago, I started this two months and some change ago. It's really nothing. Shout out Young Thug from a man. That video is fire. I love that song. I love Young Thug. That's my boy. Yes, sir. When I was homeless, all I was listening to was Young Thug. That's all I would listen to. Young Thug, bro. Young Thug was keeping me alive, G. And you don't believe it? You go check my other YouTube channel, Mexo Dexter 2001 Nigga, you'll see me out there homeless. Trying to make it, bro. And I finally got it out the way, boy. I finally got out the way. And I'm doing good and I feel understood because I'm from the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm really a rapper. My bitch bad like an EMT. Locomotive, I'm sipping potion, I'm on the LSD. How you feeling? I'm feeling good, it ain't no problem to me. I was chosen, I'm really chosen, that niggas bothering me. I bought it, she eat. The seat, the seat, the freak, I bought it last week. She worked her job so damn good, I damn near bought her a G. I messed up the freestyle, but it's all good though. I'm still a big boss dog. Arr, 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 arr. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I was really homeless out there. Y'all little niggas don't understand. Y'all little niggas don't understand. I was homeless. I was dirty. I was nothing. Then I came up, boy. My YouTube channel doing good. Nobody can tell me nothing. Just like Young Thug saying from a man video. Can't tell me nothing. Nothing but a big boss dog. Arr, 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 arr. Really barking where you sparking. What you talking about? What you walking about? What you sulking about? Ooh. What you walking about? Y'all see that? Yeah. I've been going crazy for a little minute now. I've been going crazy for a little minute now. I really been trying to get my views up. That's all I've been trying to do. Hold on. This video gonna be a little lengthy. So let me get my little perch together. Hold on. Hold on. Bam ski, bam ski. I really gotta get me a, um, a tripod. Once I get me a tripod, it's over. We went from 90 something subscribers to 350 something subscribers. And that was only in a matter of a couple of days. Before you know it. I'm going to be making money from this. First thing I'm going to do on my YouTube check. Is I'm going to show my mama what I've been doing. I'm going to be like mama. I finally made it. I finally made it. What you talking about? I told you I was going to be making money. I told you I'm going to buy you a house. I'm going to buy my mama a house when I really start making some money off this YouTube. I'm going to buy my mama a house. Give her that $14,000. No problem. It ain't nothing. I don't need that much money. See, that's my thing about it, bro. I'm a good person. I got a good heart, bro. I don't need a lot because I was homeless. I know what it's like to have nothing. So when I finally start making something... Sheesh. This is why all these rappers be buying chains and stuff like that. Because they really had nothing, bro. They really had nothing. And it's just like the chain symbolizes hard times. It symbolizes hard times. Pain, struggle, resentment, anger, bro. Sadness, all of that stuff. It, re it resembles all of that. How you felt when you had nothing. So when you finally get something, it's okay to flex up because 
bro, you literally had nothing. It's if anybody deserved to flex up, it's you. It's you who deserve to flex up. And trust and believe when I start making some money, I'm going to flex up. At this Wendy's job, I'm going to save my money. I'm going to get me some Moissanite earrings. And that's going to be my chain. That's going to be my chain. I'm going to get me some Moissanite earrings. I'm going to be shining every single time. I'm make sure y'all can see my earrings. I'm going to do my hair back so my earrings are seen every fucking day. And I'm going to pass the diamond test to test with my Moissanite earrings. The best gemstone in the world. It's the second hardest gemstone. It's... A 9.5 on the hardness scale, a diamond is a 10, right? And um, it's more refractive than the diamond. It's not as smoky as the diamond, but it's just as hard. And it's just as valuable. Well, not as, it's not just as valuable because to me, in my eyes, it is more valuable than a diamond. It's just that a diamond is so expensive. You could get you a bust-down ring one will cost $150, that'll be the Moissanite, and the diamond will cost you $3,000. So, my girl, when I start making some money, I'm finna get her a nice ring, and that bitch ain't gonna cost me no more than a couple of dollars. You see what I'm saying? And I'm gonna get her some nice earrings, and they gonna be fire, too. They gonna pass that diamond test, test. they're gonna be some big-ass earrings, bro, I'm telling you. Nobody gonna be able to play with me, bro. Nobody, like... This is a this is a long time coming. I was in um detox for 40 something days, bro. I was in rehab for 45 days. 45 days. Do y'all know how long that is? That's over a month and some change, bro. I was really in there with nothing. I had more freedom in detox and residential than I had in PHP. I was at PHP, them boys would say you about to be homeless again if your mom don't come up with some money. But my mom done got herself together, so she finna help me out with this rent here. And I'm finna be good. I ain't got to stress about rent too much. But I got to keep it on the down low. Because my mom, she ain't get paid yet, so I got to wait. I can't make no commitments, no commitments yet. She told me to just hold out till she get paid, make sure she can actually do this for me. But, um... Yeah, my mom that got me a bike. My mom that gave me some money for some food. I had got me some some cheeseburger hot pockets from the dollar store. That's the only place I'm gonna be buying my food from the dollar store. I just need a meal for the day. Cause as I told y'all, I was already homeless. It's been fucking times where I went days without eating. You know what I'm saying? Really down bad out here. So the fact that I can get me a guaranteed meal every day from the dollar store is nothing. Just go shop at the dollar store. When I go somewhere, man, I'm going to make sure I live by a dollar store. Get that shea butter soap. Bro, they got this shea butter soap at the dollar store. Bro, that's the best soap. That's the best smelling soap you'll ever get, bro. And it's only a dollar twenty-five. That shea butter soap at the dollar store. It's better than Dove. It's better than everything, bro. That soap is so fucking good, bro. My mom said she even started buying it. That's how I know it's good. My mom started buying it. When I start making money at this Wendy's job. It's over. First thing I'm going to do, get caught up on my rent. Second thing I'm going to do, start buying everything for my YouTube channel. Third thing I'm going to do, start saving for my car. And get me a second phone. Because I already got two phones, but the phone I got is trash. I need to get rid of it. I need to get rid of it. Let me show y'all boys this phone. Hold on. This phone right here. With the red G on it. I got that phone with my my uh my Medicaid. That shit was crazy, bro. Medicaid phone is garbage. It's the cheapest one they have. They gave it to me for free. And now it's like I need me a phone so I can make some phone calls. All I need is that SIM card. Pop that SIM card out, put that SIM card in my new phone. Blam ski. It's over. It's over. It's over. Like I told y'all boys. Like, bro. I'm really about my time. I'm really making these meetings almost every freaking day. 
Like, I don't play no games. I'll be a hard time on my time. I try to stay sober. And the reason it's important to stay sober is because it's like this. Bruh, ain't nothing good come out of getting high, bruh. I'm going to be honest with you. I've been getting high since 2016. And, bro, I just stopped. I just officially stopped. My drug run is done, bro. Like, that shit has caused me to be homeless. It has separated me from my family. Like, of course, they still in my life, but I missed a good couple years of my sister's life and my brother's life. I missed their most valuable years because I was out of the picture. I was ripping and running, and I haven't got to see them grow up. So it's like every time I see them, they get a little bit bigger, and it's like they about to become an adults. And when they become an adults, like, it's like, bro, I'm going to barely get to see them niggas, bro. So it's like I'm going to get to see them like, like that shit really started getting under my skin like i really feel it now like i understand how i messed up like i miss valuable time with my family and i love my family so it's really messing me up that i can't really spend time with them too much no more but it's like i gotta get on my time and i gotta start my own thing that's why i'm really trying to go crazy with this youtube journey and it's like it's been going pretty good so far i didn't gain so many subscribers i been gained so many views it's like what else can you really do bro it's like you gotta start you a business if you don't start you a business what are you gonna do you gonna work at that nine to five all your life bro hell to the fucking no hell to the no fuck that nine to five bro of course you need one to live i understand that now this old man told me when i was homeless you don't work you don't eat and nigga, it's been days I did not eat. So it's like, I ain't never going through that again. It's a pause because I'm smoking my cigarette, bro. Gotta smoke my cigarette. I'll be stressed out. I'll be running through these cigarettes because it's like, nigga, I was sipping that cough syrup every goddamn day. So for me to smoke a cigarette, I'd rather smoke a cigarette than sip that cough syrup. That cough syrup had me tripping, bro. The world turned purple and green. The sky turned purple and green. The ducks multiplied in the river. The birds stopped flying mid-flight in the sky. Like somebody pressed pause on the video. Like I, I laid back. I was like, oh shit. I laid back. And giant fire ants the size of my hand started running up my arm, bro. Three of them bitches. I remember and I jumped into that lake. I jumped into that lake and the sky turned gray again. And I was like, oh my fucking God. I just slipped from reality, bro. And I almost died on that Wawa toilet. I almost died on that Wawa toilet. Like, <sighs> do y'all know what it feel like to die? Do y'all know what it feel like to die? It feel like you're going to sleep. I'm going to be honest with you. Every time I almost died, it feel like you're going to sleep. You're like, but it's the sleep you know you're not going to wake up from. You wake up petrified. You wake up shocked. You wake up scared. You be like, damn, what the fuck just happened to me? And that's what happened to me. I woke up and I was in a mix. I was in a mix from 1996. Had me in a blitz. I was trying to get my fix, but I couldn't pick. I had a choice, but I was making no noise. I was laid down and destroyed. You feel what I'm saying? I really be rapping out here. I be trying to hold myself back from coughing. I got asthma. I'm not supposed to be smoking. These cigarettes be taxing me. Let's see how many. Oh, I still got three gigabytes. Oh, okay, okay. It's on. It's on. We still recording then. You know, it ain't nothing for me to talk to the camera, bro. Because talking to the camera is just talking to God, honestly. That's how I look at it. I'm just talking to God, bro. Like, like I said, this YouTube journey been a gang, bro. It's been a gang, bro. Like, it's been a gang of fun. I ain't have this much fun since I was a little jit. I wanted to be a YouTuber for the longest amount of time. And it's finally started to pay off. And it's like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I just need to do it every single day. And one day I'm going to start getting paid from it. I'm already gaining all the subscribers. I just got to keep going. I need to record more, more long form videos. So it's like as I gain subscribers and y'all actually start clicking on my long form videos. Because y'all just messing with my shorts. 
Okay, y'all mess with my shorts, but I got long form content too. Don't be subscribed if you ain't gonna watch my videos, nigga. You can go ahead and unsubscribe, nigga. That's how I feel about it. But you know what I'm saying? Let me not go too crazy on y'all boys, because I do appreciate y'all. But you know what I'm saying? I got other content to watch too. I got other content to watch too. And it's like all my subscribers been watching my videos, man. All my subscribers. I got 33 returning viewers. They come back and they watch my videos. And some of y'all, some of y'all a bunch of jits, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's why I say, hey, listen, bro. Don't matter what nobody tell you. Don't do no drugs. Don't do no drugs. Let me tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna be homeless. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be dirty. Your ass ain't gonna be taking showers. Your ass gonna be fucked up. You're gonna have to beg for change. You're gonna have to sell drugs. You're gonna have to get into that gang shit just so you get some living arrangements. Your family gonna be separated from you. You're gonna be in and out of treatment. Your ass gonna be bored out of your fucking mind in that treatment facility. Like, nigga, I'm telling you the whole rip. So nobody could say on my channel when they're going through the same thing, I ain't tell them. Nigga, I told you from the day one, from the jump, you do not want to do no drugs. I don't even care if it's weed. Don't even do that shit neither, bro. Because you might like weed and you're going to realize, oh, man, weed ain't that bad. These other drugs might not be that bad. Because that's exactly how I was thinking. That's exactly how I was thinking. I'm like, bro, what's so bad about weed? And I started smoking weed, bro. And I started doing Molly because I was like, Molly seemed fun. And it's like, no, Molly ain't fun, bro. Molly is a trip. I had this one dude tell me on when he was on Molly that he'll have sex with a transgender because that nigga was just so comfortable with me. And I was just like, oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we got no problem with the gays. We got no problem with the gays over here. But I'm talking about he smoked a Molly blunt and this nigga just go to start talking about transgenders. And we going to the beach and it's like four o'clock in the morning. And we just talking about transgenders and how he have sex with a transgender and all this stuff. And he asking me about the same thing. And I'm like, hey, bro. Hey, man, if that was you, bro, I still love you or whatever. You know, you still my boy. His name was RJ. He worked at, um, I fallen and I can't get up. He worked for them people. He worked for them people. And that nigga had a fetish for transgenders, man. That joint was crazy. I done heard people tell me they done suck dick for drugs, all this type of stuff. They became prostitutes. Like, bro, I'm telling you, this drug game is not no fucking... And you got to worry about your life. You start meeting these interesting people. This girl done told me she done been on ghetto gaggers and all this stuff and all this crazy stuff. She been raped. She had an AK-47 in her vagina. Like, bro, I'm telling you, you meet the craziest people and you hear the craziest stories. Like, bro, this not... No lifestyle you want to be getting into. I'm giving you the warning now so you can know this shit is not fun, bro. This shit is not fun. Like, of course, I got me into a halfway house that's good, but you're not, you not you might not be so lucky, bro. You might not be so lucky. I'm in what is known as the Oxford house. I'm telling you all this because... If you end up down this road, I'm telling you which, what type of people you want to go to. You want to go to the Oxford house. They actually got structure so you can't mess up. I finally understand what it means to need structure. To need structure is basically like saying somebody holding you accountable so you don't mess up. Because it's like when I was homeless, there was nobody to hold me accountable so I was like, I'm going to get high regardless because there's nobody to answer to. I'm already homeless. I'm already sleeping on that sidewalk. Sleeping on a sidewalk is very uncomfortable. I don't know if y'all boys know this. You got them ants running up your fucking ears and shit. Bro, you do not want to be doing that. I'm trying to tell y'all young boys to spill. Oh my God, why I can't get this little... I'm sorry about that. Like I said, we keep it real on this channel. So if you see me blowing my nose, digging in my nose, bruh, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to wash my hands. I ain't no nasty basty like that. But y'all boys say I wanted a bike review. I'm going to record that. Um, probably later on today when the sun go down, it'll be easier to record. 
but I'm finna clip this video. It's already like 30 minutes, it's 29 minutes, it's some change. So y'all boys have a blessed one. Check it easy. It's been Mexo Dexter, Dexo Crazy. Check out both of my YouTube channels. We're going crazy on both of them. Slime.